right, so good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. Um, we're coming to you live from Elbert, Colorado with a public service announcement. And I want to apologize for the, the um, gosh, the intensity of the title for this vlog. Uh, we, we did that on purpose. What's going on, Ron? Uh, what's going on, Brad? Um, the intensity of this, uh, the, the title of this, uh, this video is, um, it was on purpose, clickbait. And you'll have to excuse me, I think this is our first time doing it, but the death of Class F Fly Ash, that is the impetus of our public service announcement today. And we're going to go deeper and dive into this, this topic with Whitney later on and, you know, some of our other counterparts. But I wanted to go over some, some hard truths for hard truths that we have to come to terms with when it comes to class F fly ash and concrete. And the first one is the hard truth that it's either class F fly ash is dying or it's dead. And that's all dependent where you're at. If you're in Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, California, you're feeling that. Uh, Indiana, Fly ash is dead. Class F fly ash is dead. And I, I would love to hear the arguments. And, you know, whether or not ASTMC 618 talks about quality or not or, or focuses on quality, I don't care. Um, but we cannot undo what we started in 1978 with our renewable energy movement here in the United States. And the harsh reality is that the class F fly ash um, just isn't the same as it used to be. And this is the second hard truth. So the quality and the volumes that you got back in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, you're not going to get that anymore. Now, if for some reason you're in that pocket that you still have some volumes, like, oh, John, we're good for the next two or three years. Okay, fine. I love to be proven wrong. And every rule has an exception. But the harsh reality is that we have gone to newer renewable energy uh, sources for our or new, renew or new renewable sources for our energy consumption uh, that you know no matter what side of the aisle you're on we're just not going to turn on those coal plants fast enough in the near future to get back those volumes of coal combustion residue that we had in the 80s 90s and 2000s the quality as well as the volumes third hard truth I can't wait to hear the arguments. I can't wait to see the comments. There are replacements. There are replacements that are currently being, whether they're natural pozzolans or pond ashes um, or, or other materials that are out there. But again, this harsh reality is those products, they're not going to cost the same as the class F fly ashes that you got in the 80s, the 90s, 2000s. I remember in the early and late 90s, or early and mid 90s, excuse me, there were some points where we were still getting fly ash for free. You know, it's, it's a paradigm shift. And you've got folks who are still grasping at straws that we can hold on to this flesh. We're in a certain sector of Chicago or Florida or what have you that we still get this class F fly ash that makes that concrete creamy and dreamy and easy to use and more durable. You are the select few that still have those volumes, but that unfortunate reality, it's not going to last much longer. Um, so the cost that harsh reality, the cost for these replacements, it's not going to be $80 per ton, $100, $120 per ton. Or, or, or back in the day, we used to get fly ash for $40 a ton. You're not going to, so you're not going to see that anymore. Those costs, the cost is going to be driven up, especially for these natural doing very poorly. So for these natural pozzolans, the cost is going to be excessively high, especially if they need to be nine mined, ground, graded, sieved, cleaned, and then dried. You're going to see north of $140 a ton. Um, and even for the pond ashes that need to be uh, reclaimed and then benefited, there's going to be an excessive cost to that, and we have to be comfortable as an industry. It's, again, one of those harsh realities. Okay, the last thing is these pond ash replacements, using the word replacement for class F fly ash, that is a bit of a stretch. 
Um, that is a, a, a tough thing to put on a reclaimed pl- product that we ponded for a very good reason. And reclaiming it costs money. Drawing it out, grading it, sieving it, benefiting it, and then transporting it to the ready mix provider, that costs money. So to expect these pond dashes, one, to have the quality and the the enhancements that we want them to have, and two, be at that cost, you can't put both of them on there. So those are the four harsh realities. Uh, I'm excited to hear the comments that come back from this. Uh, Yeah, we'll have more videos on this. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for more information. Go Concrete! Beat Asphalt.